Look, the bottom line is you've had half the fee up front. And I can't even sniff the vague aroma of a script as yet. Yeah. Well, it's not for want of trying, you know? I mean, it's all there. It's, it's all in my head. I, I just can't get it down on paper. Look, David, I like you. I'd like to help you. What are these? Keys to your future. A cousin of mine has got this big place in the country, middle of nowhere. I'm meant to be looking after it for him, so you'd actually be doing me a favour going down there. So, you're staying at Edward House? Oh, news travels fast in this area. Not on your own, I trust. Yes, I'm on my own. You've probably heard some of the stories that go along with that place. Only the one about the doctor who killed one of his patients. A child went missing. After a few days, another one went as well. I really don't want to spend any more time down here than I have to. Earlier today, as I was walking back toward the house, I saw a woman in a long black cloak. And she turned around and her appearance sort of astonished me. I urge you to leave that house. You've no reason for staying there. You can't. You must. If I leave now, it's all over. You don't know what you're getting yourself involved in. Is it that you've seen?